Monica is saying, there are some experiences that leave a strong impact on mind for a long time and it becomes difficult to tackle with that. And that unwanted visuals keep wandering in mind. As a seeker, how am I supposed to respond to this kind of situation? Now, the answer should be obvious. The answer should be obvious that you need to be in awareness. There is nothing wrong here. As a seeker also, there is nothing wrong here. What is happening is the machinery is triggered and it is doing its usual dance. The visuals are not unwanted. As soon as you say that they are unwanted, you have created suffering within you. Although they are not also wanted, they are what they are. Some event happened and now the machinery of the mind, like she said, instrument. <laughs> instrument is functioning properly, isn't it? Do you want it to function in some other way? No, don't even think like this. That somebody, some event has happened which is negative, some experience. And now you don't want the instrument to function in the normal way. You want it to remain silent. You will see that the consequences are very bad for this. There will be no self-defense. There will be no life left in you. This, this will be treated, treated like some kind of madness. They will be, you will be sent to the seeker. You will be sent to mental hospital. So it is not uh, wise to try to change what is happening in the mind. Unless it is already an affliction of some kind. You don't want to change it. It's healthy behavior. And now you in this whole knowledge... You need to abide that the instrument is functioning well. Okay. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Yes, functioning well. Now watch it. Watch it and under the microscope of your awareness, how it is functioning. Now comes the important part. What should I do? And the answer is very obvious. Do that which is necessary. Do that which is necessary. Somebody is, you know, attacking you. Now the instrument is functioning. Yes, check. But do you want to simply observe the instrument there? No. Let the defense happen. I mean, there is nobody to defend, but let the defense happen. That is necessary. If somebody just joked about you, you took it as an insult, no problem. It's normal. But no action is necessary here. Even though there is a desire for action, simply watch it. And uh, the decision should be that, well, leave it. I'll let it go. And you will find that 90% of your actions, desires and all uh, thoughts totally unnecessary that happen in a day. You can let them go. And the result is immense amount of peace and bliss. And this bliss is never disturbed. Because you know I am doing the necessary. It must be done. There is no I also. There is no ego involved also. You know that it is happening. It must happen like this. I am hungry, now I am disturbed, you know, what has happened here? I am a seeker, I should not be hungry. But look, this is how the natural thing functions. Now you should go and eat. Very simple. So, this is the response to the situation. Be in awareness. Do the necessary. Do not react. Do not try to stop. Do not suppress. Do not overreact. Oh, I am a seeker and this thought came in my mind. It's the dirty thought. No, it's okay. It's fine. It's all okay. You do not act on it if it's not necessary. Isn't it? That will be an overreaction. You don't want waves in your mind. You want it to be calm and quiet. A little bit of vibration sometimes happens. That is bliss. It, it will come without meditation. It will come without standing on your head. This is the purest form of meditation. Awareness. Not manipulating, not holding your breath to stop your mind. That is unnatural. Remember that this is going to be eternal. This is what is going to happen eternally. Right now you find that it is very limited and limited by the form that uh, that is taken now. The human form. But the human form will be dropped very soon. You are a seeker, isn't it? Few days remaining. And then the same activity you will be seen in another form, same activity, in more advanced forms. You cannot get rid of it. You cannot get rid of the instrument. And uh, only thing you can do is be detached from it. It is not me. Is it working okay? Yes. What is the sign that it is not working okay? Suffering of any kind. You know the body is a layer of the mind. If the body is not working okay, it produces pain. Pain is a suffering. It means there is something wrong in the body. Now do that which is necessary to 
stop this defect to clear this affliction and now it is happy this will continue forever 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 you need to let go let go of this madness to control everything be aware and the control happens i can give you the recipe you know one action to do under one circumstance okay my husband said said this what should i do guruji now <laughs> you i'll tell you something you can do this next day my friend this to me my friend did this to me now what should i do okay now do this so how how much how many responses are you going to memorize instead i give you the master key and then the right response will happen monica is saying during a sudden shock the awareness is very less or even missed as per my direct experience no problem at all very natural isn't it when you are crossing a road and big truck is coming high speed do you need to run or do you need to be aware no need to be aware just run <laughs> run to the other side once you are on the other side you can be aware that my life is safe today thanks for not being aware because awareness may delay the action and then it is too late so the mind has a built in fuse box you can say It's fuse when the situation is urgent it uh, stops the higher layers from functioning it has to be urgent or there needs to be urge which means very strong desire and then the higher layers are suspended what do we want do we want to interfere in this beautiful mechanism of this creature that creature has evolved for its protection and whatever reproduction growth have you seen that uh, you know we can learn a lot from the body layer of the body because it is visible and most of the people know only their body so you can check whenever there is an attack on the body of the disease germs what happens the body is put to rest you don't want to get up first thing the usual things the activities of the body are suspended you don't want to eat and you only want to sleep and even the entertainment is not good enough is headache you don't want to talk to anybody even your loved ones they are irritating and uh, you just want to wait the intellect won't work a very mature person behaves like a child when the person is sick he will demand things he will start crying he needs emotional support and so on the higher layers are suspended when there is an urgency and once the urgency is gone yes now they can function and i personally do not see it as a problem it's okay sudden shock yes we don't want awareness there just deal with the shock and the body deals with the shock the body mind deals with the shock in the usual way we don't even need to decide it is all programmed nicely by the evolution it will be done now yes there will be consequences which you, you should now tolerate elegantly this is what happened so it's all okay i think and th- there will be a stage when the awareness will grow so much that nothing can move it not a shock not a bad situation not uh, not fear not disease nothing and when will that happen we don't know we don't know and is it necessary no not necessary not necessary at all don't lose your sleep for that sleep peacefully you see it is happening it is happening already the seed is there now it's growing continue watering it cultivate the awareness it won't happen overnight so don't worry about it at all then in the shock i am not aware that means i failed in my path of knowledge no <laughs> the fact that you know this thing shows that you have a lot of knowledge because many people don't know all these things you see majority do not know when i am going through some kind of emotional event do who needs awareness there we don't as soon as the emotions want you to act in some odd way you see there is a natural action that suppose you are sad you will just sit down won't eat that day okay if you are angry you will just keep quiet and stay away for from people that is a natural action but as, as long as there is a trigger there is a desire to do something which is totally unnecessary then you will find your awareness is there first like a policeman before the crime happens the pre crime is there have you seen that movie in the where there was a pre crime department <laughs> in the movie 
can somebody tell me the name of the movie they came to know in the crime before it happened minority report yes gram is right minority report so <laughs> awareness comes in it knows already what is going to happen what will be the consequences and then this action is stopped install the pre crime department but it should not interfere in the normal working of the mind actually you should become so aware that over oh, this is also happening that, that is also happening and drink the juice of it all after all you are you have taken birth to get this experience isn't it you are in the human form to get the human experience and if you try to kill it if you try to wipe out the whole mind flatten it like a barren land what is the use of taking the birth yes you don't want this um mind to become too chaotic afflicted abnormal you don't want it to cross the limit that's all but you want to drink the juice and if you do not do it if you suppress everything that happens because i am the boss now i am superman because i have the awareness the next birth will be in total unawareness and all these suppressed tendencies will be expressed now this is the maya for you this is the illusion if you torture her she will torture you so awareness has uh, this much function watching that's all not doing the doing happens pandurang is asking and does this happen during death as well stopping of the higher layers first as far as my direct experience is concerned i don't know death has not happened so far fortunately so how can we <laughs> how can we tell death is similar to going to sleep isn't it? change of state now you know what happens when an aware person goes to sleep you see you don't have direct experience so what are we trying to do here we are trying to infer from our existing experience logical inference is valid it it, it will be shown that it, this is what happens so just like an unaware person ignorant person goes to sleep total darkness is only you know going to sleep and waking up same moment nothing in between there is nothing in between time stops time starts this is how the experience of the sleep is what happens when you go to sleep in total awareness you will see there are mental events very fantastic wonderful mental events happen which you don't get to see in the waking state the dream happens in awareness and the projection happens in awareness although these things happen naturally also but no awareness so what will happen during the death if it is sudden like we are talking if it is sudden if it is uh, unnatural then yes there will be shock wave reaction you know and uh, yes who knows what can happen there and it will be total darkness but if it happens in total awareness you will find that uh, colorful scenery appears during death as well so that is why it is so important to die peacefully in presence of a master or if the master is not not present because obviously he will die first <laughs> but your seeker friends should be there somebody some student of that ma- senior student of that master and unfortunately we don't get this luxury lots of people are dying every day and obviously the master is has more important work than to observe dead bodies every day so what do we do can somebody guess what is the alternative for you to get some help keep the awareness on during death not even that much awareness you see just a little bit of intention is good enough okay pratib is saying be established in awareness during waking state now it will extend yes this is the best thing to do you see prepare prepare for the for the death it can it can happen any day actually the death can come any day we don't know it's best to be aware today but there is one more thing that you can set up an intention or you can pray to the guru field if you cannot set up the intention they will set it up that uh, let my death be in total awareness there are some advantages of it but not much i was kind of obsessed by this thing but then i dropped it because it's too much work too little fruit that which is done by mother nature is the best i learned this and then all this desire all this madness to control the death simply vanished so i'll say you don't need to do anything really but if you ha- are interested there are some things that can be done although it is it's not totally necessary it is desirable to die peacefully in awareness in a spiritual environment 
not in a hospital not in a impure place not in the battle ground or anything like this the consequences are very bad probably the worst are soldiers actually in my case studies i have found that in the what is it limbo what is it called in uh, buddhism in sanskrit we call it the pratyoni but limbo i don't know the english word maximum people are those who die in uh, wars the war is bardo very nice thank you <laughs> it has some other name actually bardo of something anyway so maximum people the maximum suffering is inflicted during war that is the worst kind of death the the horror of a war is the worst kind that the humans have produced yes limbo in english purgatory in catholicism yes they suffer there for many hundred years actually and the next one is uh, the death caused by crimes murders and all tortures and the next one is accidents burning in fire and so on you see and the next one is disease dying by a horrible disease which is not timely you see in the old age you die by a disease it's not a disease it's old age no problem young aged disease kills you it's a problem then you can go on in the spectrum of dead people it's horrible you see and then uh, there is one more kind of death which is untimely which happened for some reason but yes okay it was in the allocation the, this much but still it is not good then now we enter the green end of the i just su- shubham is saying what about suicide so yes it is a crime inflicted on oneself so it falls in the worst category actually very bad very bad then we go to the green end of the spectrum where normal death where the life was lived but without fulfillment of desires majority of the desires were not fulfilled and majority of the experience was suffering that you can say the neutral zone and that is where most of the people are 90% people they will end up here unfulfilled desires with suffering in the in the positive end there are fulfilled desires when the person wants nothing but death gets it without awareness without knowledge then there are seekers at the higher end and they have awareness a little bit of it they are not worried about desires or fulfillment of them i know they are not my desires okay it's okay no not fulfilled no problem <laughs> i am there for eternity i'll fulfill them then at the higher end there are people who are very very accomplished they have the whole guru field with them when they die they are taken to directly to the guru worlds the higher worlds where they decide the next allocation and so on you see they are the ceos and you can say <laughs> united nation kind of thing <laughs> the govern the maya so very high end they can decide whether to take birth or not where to take birth and so on you see bodhisattvas and all so that is the highest end where are you <laughs> where am i i sometimes think about it where am i we are kind of 60 70% above the average that's all if you if you mark it from 0 to 100 we are at 60 or 50 like this <laughs> not 50 probably is much better than that but uh, we need to progress a lot to achieve a good death where you end up in a party not in a hell <laughs> do you want that yes yes everybody wants it if you cannot have a good life no problem that is what you are you know that is what is your lesson for this life you are sick you are in a bad relation you are alone you are dying you are diseased no problem at all somebody killed you okay it's okay all okay and the last moment should be peaceful so you should pray for a good death not for a good life life is good already <laughs> let the death be good that is more important what do we do we avoid even the mention of death we avoid even the thoughts of death nobody wants the death you know good or bad it's not even a question we don't want it we assume we are immortals especially the young people they don't need to worry about death but they need they need to have the knowledge 